What's going on everybody? Lucas here with Stock Artists. Thank you for checking out this video. Today, we're gonna to talk about leveling your first, second, and third axis using the Hamsky Gen 2 Pro third axis leveler. So stay with me. The reason I'm going with the Hamsky Gen 2 Pro is that it allows me to set my third axis at full draw, which we'll get more into when we get to that point. So starting with our first axis, I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this level to our bowstring. So with the Gen 2, they added a little string notch, which makes it really easy to clamp onto that bowstring. You can now use your bow vise to level that top bubble on the ham ski. So with the level on our bowstring, we're gonna go ahead and try to line up that top bubble. This will give us a solid foundation in order to set up our second and our third. My bow vise is technically a bike stand, but we'll actually be reviewing this as a bow stand later on in another video. Now that we have our first axis level, we now know that our string will be sitting perfectly plumb vertical. We can now take the level and mount it to the slatter portion of our bow sight. So now setting up our second axis, we're making sure that the bubble in our housing is level with our rail. Mine, luckily enough, looks like it's already level. If I needed to adjust my Tetra Max, HHA recommends that I snug this top screw and loosen this bottom screw here in order to swivel my sight left and right so that it's married up with my slider. The importance of setting our second axis is to ensure that we aren't canting our bow, resulting in a left and right miss on flat ground. Now that we have our first and second axis level, now comes the fun part, setting our third axis. The biggest reason why I chose the ham ski is that it allows me to set my third axis at full draw, under torque. When it comes to the third axis, we are making sure that our sight is in line with the path of our arrow when at full draw. So torque is the load that transfers from your string to your cables, which can result in your bow torquing to the left or to the right, which I say torque, but it's, it's in a sense pivoting your bow to the left or to the right in your hand. When setting up our third axis, it's important to keep in mind that we want to have our bow set up exactly like how we're going to have it in the field. For myself, I'm getting ready for the hike to hunt, so I have my HHA stabilizers on here with the V-bar kicker, as well as my side quiver. This is important so that when we are at full draw, we can mimic the proper torque that our certain bow will have. To install the alignment rod, you'll see this little threaded part at the top of the hamski level. Go ahead and thread that alignment rod in that hole. So now that we have our alignment rod in the ham ski level, we want to set up our vertical reference. There are a few ways to set up a vertical reference. For this, I'll be using a plumb line, which you can make by getting a string and adding some weight to the end of it. Or you can use a carpenter's level and draw a line on the wall. Because we are coming to full draw at this point, take the proper safety precautions that you feel are necessary. So with your safety precautions in place, go ahead and draw your bow back. When at full draw, Go ahead and start to angle yourself downward. Try to keep the tips of that alignment rod in line with your plumb line. When you come to full draw and you're at your downward angle, if the bubble runs to the left, you need to rotate the sight out. If the bubble runs to the right, rotate the sight in. For myself, the bubble was running on the left side, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate my sight outward away from the shooter. For my HHA Tetra Max, it has a built-in third axis. On the third axis, I have a lock screw and an axis adjustment screw. Since my bubble was on the left, I rotated my set screw, which pushed my sight back out. I drew my bow back once more, angled myself downward, and my bubble was level. I have now successfully set my third axis. So now that we have our first, second, and third axis set, we now know that there are zero mechanical errors in our bow sight. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you want to see more content by Stock Artists, go ahead and check out our website at stockartists.com or follow us on social media. Once again, my name is Lucas, and I really appreciate you guys watching this video.